Hello there. I'm Roberto Figueroa, your faculty in charge in Computer Science 201, or Discrete Structures in Computer Science. My email and uh, my website are both in this first slide. Together with your tutor, Sir Jun Jun, I'm glad to guide you through this course, or this module, which will be dealing with logic, sets, counting methods, graphs, and automata. So the agenda for this first session is very simple. I'll just be talking about your course guide or the basics of this course. The next session will be dealing with uh, the first lesson with, which will be propositional logic. But for now, I want to talk about uh, the course objectives, the course outline, the schedule, how we compute your grades, and some house rules. So let's start. Before everything else, I want you to think about why we study ComSci 201. What is the importance of this subject? Why not go straight to programming? Well, a good reason would be logical skills in order for you to create good programs or solve problems using computers you need to be logical thinkers so this subject will actually train you how to be logical thinkers at the same time it will give you some knowledge on computer science related mathematics another reason is that discrete structures or discrete mathematics is actually a very important building block for developing algorithms. Algorithms, if you've already taken 202 or the, uh, the beginning lectures of 202, you will learn that an algorithm is a series of steps to solve a problem using a computer. And finally, this subject will make you smarter. Believe me, at the end of this course, you will be smarter. So here are two pictures, well this is the first one, that I want to show you. Uh, these are applications of discrete structures or discrete mathematics in computer science. The first one is a logical or a digital design for a traffic system. As you can see there is green, there is yellow, and there is red. This is actually based, this is actually um, a digital circuit that is made up of boolean gates or logical gates that you will learn later on in this course. The next application that I want to show you is very popular. It's called Waze. For those who are driving in traffic congested cities in the Philippines and abroad, you will find this app very useful. This is actually powered by an algorithm called Shortest Path which you will be learning in our uh, unit about graphs. So let's go ahead with the course guide. First, let's talk about the course objectives. At the end of this course, we are expecting you to know the various discrete structures in logic, in sets, in combinatorics, in graphs, and in finite state systems. We also want you to understand the concepts, the principles, the laws, the operations, methods, and techniques associated with the various discrete structures that we'll be talking about. We also want you to develop skills in using these various structures in solving mathematical problems. And finally, we want you to realize the use of these structures or concepts in the context of computer science. Later on, we want you to use everything that you learn here in your programming courses. You will be better programmers, you will be better computer scientists, you will be better system analysts because of discrete mathematics. So here is uh, the course outline. The first unit is about logical structures. Um, it's basically about proposition propositional logic and predicate logic. 
the next unit will be about set structures sets relations and functions the next one would be combinatorial structures or the methods of counting we will also be talking about arrangements and selections in this unit the next one will be graph structures so here we will be talking about different graph concepts like vertices and lines or edges and uh, we will also be tackling some graph problems in their applications such as the shortest path and finally we will be dealing with automata and formal languages seems pretty simple huh um, I also displayed or I also wrote in your course guide some uh, dates that you need to take note of but here are the four most important ones the first one is October 10 which is the f the deadline of your first assignment I'm not sure but I think I changed the date because we uploaded the, the, the assignment a bit later than we expected so I'll just be updating you on that uh, the next date would be October 17 which is the date of your midterm exam the next one is November 28th which is the deadline of your second assignment and finally December 13 will be the date of your final exam so remember these four important dates so how do we compute your grades your two assignments make up 30 percent of your final grade six quizzes will be 30 percent your midterm exam is 20% and finally your final exam is 20%. Add them all together and we have 100%. The conversion of, of percentages to UP grades are also provided in your course guide, so just take note of them. Here are some house rules. Um, of course, before this, I want to tell you that I'm very strict on intellectual honesty. Our university motto is honor and excellence, but I want to rephrase it. It should be honor before excellence. So I want you to make sure that everything that you do, every assignment that you submit, will be your own. So if I catch you cheating, there will be dire consequences. So for the assignments, I want you to follow this convention. You uh, provide your surname and then your first name, dash, the subject, which is com Computer Science 201, dash, the number of your assignment or the assignment number, dot, extension. It can be a doc file or a PDF file or a docx file or an XLS file, whatever. Here is an example, Figueroa Roberto, which is my surname, first name, dash, comsci201, dash, one, this is actually one, not I, dot pdf. And I am, I'm very strict as well in terms of deadlines, so late assignments will not be entertained. Also, you need to make sure that you, you submit all of your assignments via the assignment bin of our course site. Assignments that are submitted via email will not be accepted. So I guess that's it for the guidelines. Finally, I want you to take note of these two websites. The first one is UPOU My Portal, which I know that you're accessing now. And the second one will be a very exciting website for you to collaborate and to study together. It's called academiax.org. More details will be provided in the next session and in some of the announcements that I'll be making in the course site. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for listening and for watching. See you again next time.